Hello everybody, I'm Black Viper of Death, and this is YS Origin, where I forgot something useful last time. I have a demon's ring. But I think... Okay, so its power is drained. So that means we have to charge it up somehow, so that we can get into the tower and rescue the angel. And I'm getting over a cold, so if I sound a little different, that would be why. The joyous fun of sickness. Oh yeah, do I have... do do do... Okay, yeah, that's the equipment. I do have to kill these guys. Hmm, why is he glowy? I may need you for something. So come here and die. Well, they're not getting hurt by my skills. Oh, shit. What was up with that? Okay. Well, apparently I'm dumb and suck at this game because I'm sick. Uh, that's what I'm going to blame it on, at least, you know. So, like, you... I'm doing one damage to them? Am I understanding this correctly? Yeah, I'm doing one damage to them regardless. So that's not good. We'll just lure him up here. Why are you guys so fast? Oh shit, I'm dead. What is up with these guys? How are they this powerful? And why do I need to kill them? I guess that's the better question. I mean, Clearly the glowing means I'm supposed to kill them. Okay, so my mines are doing normal damage. I just have to kind of like lure them in. Here, we'll do an extra powerful bomb. That did not do as much as I was hoping. Come here. Come here, buddy. Oh. You almost got me. Mmm, tasty human. How would you frickin' die? Just gotta play the jumping game. Play the Mario game. Ooh. 
Come here. Eat, eat bombs. Eat all the bombs. They're tasty and good for you and full of vitamin C. Or iron. Oh my gosh, I'm so dead. Why do you kill me so easily? Gosh darn it. I'm gonna try this again, because I know what I'm doing now. Hopefully. I just, I really do not understand this. Why I'm having so much difficulty. And what are they for? Because obviously... Oh... Do I need them for this door? I didn't think I had a key. Ooh, well I killed one of them. That's always good. I'm just gonna go up here. Well, I killed one of them this way. I think he's being trapped by the wall. And that's why he's taking extra damage. Oh, would you just die, please? I don't like you. Little dancing poop. Almost dead yet. Please say you are. I was hoping that I wasn't gonna have to uh, do some grinding, but after this fight, gosh, I'm having trouble with regular enemies. Oh, fuck your shit. Why is this so difficult? Alright, I'm gonna try something completely different, and that's just go to the south. Maybe I'm not supposed to try and kill those guys, because I did see on the other side of that door... ...that there is a red guy. 
I know this is the way that I came. And how did the other one die so quickly? And, and then the other one just didn't want to do anything. I mean, you would think what I have to do is go back up, but... Oops. That's fine. I don't need that button anymore. I mean, there's gotta be... Something I'm missing. Hello there, invisible dude. Oh no, they're not invisible. Those are those little ground fricks. I'm like, I don't see anybody. I forgot those little slugs existed. Now, what was over here? Do, do, do. Oh, just a switch, okay. You can get blasted. I don't like you. Yeah, it's possible I'm not powerful enough? That would suck. I can't imagine that I'm supposed to go to this far back. However... Maybe? I kinda hope not. It's... It's probably through that door. That is about the only thing I can legitimately see. Is this way well I could actually kill the sand creatures here but I don't think there is any reason to go up because that was the uh, where a treasure chest was. Hey guys, how would you like a quick death? Everybody loves death.
Although I wonder if they... They shouldn't be respawning. Oh well. Um... I... I very much doubt I'm doing the right thing here. Alright, let's go... Let's just go back to Rado's Annex. You know what I could try? So I could try first saving. Because I did level up once. I'm going to try talking into my shell. First ring with no power. Kadena. So I wonder if... Here, let's go back to the tower base. I know that's kind of counterintuitive to just what I did. Kadena. Which one is Kadena? Fourteenth floor, west of the goddess statue. All right, well that's something. I don't think I have any clarion ore. I didn't want to read that. I thought that was just going to be a... Okay, so 14th floor. West of the goddess statue. There's a strange pattern on the floor. Is that these? It looks like up, up, and up. see what's over here because I don't quite remember unless of course it's talking about the pattern on the ground up up there And I doubt that. Maybe I should equip my uh, vision thingy. Oops.
so is it talking about that? I thought I already... Yeah, I already did that. I wonder if it's talking about these tiles. Because that one's out. No, and those ones are in. That one's out too. What did I get here? I don't quite remember. But it can't be what I'm looking for. Let me try the fire one more time. Okay, now there's three of the bastards. Okay, I'm just gonna go right up here and probably get killed. Well, it's like one of them takes a lot of damage to my mines. The other, there's actually maybe it looks like two of them. And it's just this one that just doesn't want to get damaged. Actually, maybe he is getting damaged now. Oh my god. Evil Ring's power has been restored. Thank you. I'm not even going to try this door right now. I'm going to go and save. Ooh, that was a tough battle. Alright, now I'm going to try this door. Okay, I need a key. I'm guessing that's going to be the boss fight. But holy cow. But unfortunately, I don't have enough SP to improve anything. 
improve anything useful. But now we can use this ring. Uh huh. Hey guys, guess who has an evil ring? Al? <laughs> Whoops. I guess I have to go talk to them. Maybe I chuck the ring at the door. That was stupid. I guess it did say it would dare destroy anybody who would wear it. Hey guys. Huh? What's that ring you've got? May I see it? Sure, here you go, buddy. That's about as cursed as they get, to be sure. It should definitely be enough to get you through that door. I wouldn't be so hasty to put it on, though. Oh, really? Why might that be? I imagine it would drive any ordinary person insane to wear it, at best. No, it, it killed me. So, now I need a way to remove the curse? So now you have a curse ring in your possession, fully powered. Wait, didn't you have an artifact that could weaken the effects of harmful magic? I sure do. Uh, the blue necklace. Oh, so that's what I have to do. Sneaky, sneaky game. As the door opened, the evil ring's power completely drained away. It worked. Nicely done, Hugo. Thanks, but I couldn't have done it without your expertise. Now come on, let's get inside. Oh, hi there, Angel. Lady Fina! Hugo, Kadina, Musha! The <laughs> barrier. Damn. Lady Fina, are you injured? I'm alright. There's no need to worry. It's quite strong, but not harmful in any way. It seems designed solely to keep me in one place. Well, thank goodness for small favors, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. In any event, I can't believe you actually made it all the way here. I don't know how I could properly thank you. Please direct your gratitude towards Hugo. His efforts are what made this meeting possible. Uh, yes? Uh, is that so? Sorry. There's not a whole lot of female voices I have. And from the bottom of my heart, I give you my thanks, Hugo Fact. You've gone through so much on my account, even fighting your own brother. Words cannot express my regret. You had nothing to do with that. The fight was instigated by me, after all. And I only lost because I was the weaker man. Nothing more, nothing less. Hugo. While imprisoned in this room, I had a brief opportunity to speak with him. And I assure you, despite his actions and his appearance, he's still the man he's always been. I'm absolutely certain of it. In fact, he seems to be worried about you. He didn't say as much, but I could clearly see it in his eyes. So please, won't you give... Just stop. This is a family issue. It doesn't involve you, and I'd thank you to keep your nose out of our business. <laughs> Hugo. 
Now hold on. You can't talk to Lady Fina that way. Uh, no, he's right. It's not my place to lecture him. I'm sorry, Hugo. I didn't mean to upset you. That's yeah, quite alright. Thank you. Lady Fina! Lady Fina, thank goodness you're safe. I've... Unica, and the rest of you too. It's so good to see you. Sure took you guys long enough to get here, though. Our apologies. We met with fierce resistance. I hope you've not been kept waiting long, Lady Fina. So now it's just a matter of breaking through this barrier. Right, but well, that's a lot easier said than done. There's some pretty intense magic at work here. Fortunately, it's an enchantment rather than a curse. So I'm pretty confident we'll be able to dispel it, given enough time. Excellent. We'll stand guard then to ensure your safety until the task is complete. Hopefully we can secure Lady Fina's freedom with minimal delay. No, that won't be necessary. Pardon? Lady Fina? We never intended for any of you to get involved in this matter. We and I were fully prepared to resolve it on our own. But you're here now. And as I'm presently indisposed, I see little choice but to seek your assistance. It pains me to speak of this, but will you hear me out? Uh, of course. Whatever you wish, my lady. Yeah, there's still a lot we don't know about what's going on down here. I think I speak for all of us when I say that any information you provide would be more than welcome. Thank you. As you know, for the last several years, Wyas has been perpetually invaded and ransacked by demons. What you may not know, however, is the reason behind these attacks. Believe it or not, the Black Pearl and the Clarion Metal are to blame. What? You can't be serious. So those Outlanders aren't the ones responsible for this mess. Well, they're involved now, certainly. They've exercised full control over the demons, after all. But they're not responsible for the demons themselves, no. That dubious honor goes to the Black Pearl, which inadvertently awakened what we call the demonic essence. The... The... The Lonic Essence? I think that was the voice I gave Roy. It's hard to put into words, but give it as a malicious will. The very essence of demonism itself. Basically, the dark side of magic. And, just as the Black Pearl spreads magical abilities far and wide, so too does it spread this malevolent energy. As it spreads, it distorts the earth twisting and reshaping it until it takes on demonic form and comes to life. And the clarion in the ground serves to amplify this effect exactly as it does with magic. Essentially, as long as there exist veins of claria in the earth, the distortions will grow worse and more demons will spawn. That's why we, along with the six priests, Sealed it all away in chambers, cut off from the Black Pearl's influence. But now the demonic essence is at its strongest here, on the surface. As this tower's existence clearly illustrates, the Darklings have somehow learned to harness it for their own gain. But our goal is to seal it away, back into the Black Pearl from whence it came, for all eternity. Words fail me. I can see why you kept quiet about this for so long. We could very well be looking at a complete paradigm shift for all of YS. Our entire way of life is at stake. That's correct. The Sorcerer Dallas intends to obtain the Black Pearl and stimulate the demonic essence within, granting it physical form, which is probably the final boss. But since Rhea has it now, 
We can be assured our enemy's attention is focused squarely on her. But if she should be captured? Well, suffice it to say, we mustn't allow that to happen. Please, find Rhea and help keep the Black Pearl out of enemy hands. We knights shall guard her with our lives. You can count on us. I still have one question, though, if I may. Certainly. The Black Pearl and the Clary have sustained our people for quite some time. So, I do understand why the two of you came here in secret. To some extent, anyway. But why were even the six priests kept unaware of your intentions? Ah. They are your trusted retainers, no? And they're just as concerned with preventing public unrest as you, so I'm certain they keep, have kept your secret. Yet you obviously came here without consulting a single one of them. So either you're still hiding from us, or you're just flat out lying. Bastard, you still doubt the goddesses even after everything we've just heard? Hugo. Oh, here we go again. No, Hugo's right. There is more to tell, but at present it's little more than a theory on our part. Until I can be certain of its accuracy, I'd prefer not to speak of it. I hope you understand. Alright, we'll save it for later when it's more shockingly revealing. I mean, I won't push the matter. I apologize if my asking caused you any undue discomfort, but just to confirm, once you've reached a conclusion as to the accuracy of your theory, you will be more than forthcoming about it, won't you? You have my word. Lady Fina? Alright, is everyone ready? We have a new mission, and it's our top priority. Should the Black Pearl fall into the enemy's hands, the demonic presence will be unleashed and all will be lost. We must find Lady Rhea as quickly as we can and become her shield. Yes, sir. And so, the Holy Knight's search for Lady Rhea continued, each night feeling a renewed sense of urgency. Meanwhile, Hugo once again set off on his own leaving Kadina and Musha to tend the barrier around Lady Fina. Acquired a key! Hugo! Musha can be a pain in the ass, you know that. But I guess if you weren't, we'd think something was wrong with you. No need to worry about Lady Fina, we can dispel this barrier for sure. This is going to take some time. The most helpful thing you can do right now is to keep scaling the tower. We'll be able to handle things here, I promise. Alright. I guess. Oh. Say, so is opponent going to talk to us now? Hugo. Hugo. What is it now? Well, um... I just wanted to tell you... I think you were right to say what you said. And I don't think Lady Fina minded. But, uh... Spit it out already. What are you getting at? Uh, I'm worried about you. I know you want to be respected and looked up to. You're always making a scene. Always making people mad. And I know you're probably just really irritable because of your family and your brother and everything, but still... <sighs> I'm pretty sure you aren't going to take me up on this since you never have before. But I just want you to know that I'm... Will you just leave me the hell alone already? <laughs> you'd stop stammering for one second and actually listen to what I have to say. Maybe you'd finally get it. 
You think I want to be respected and looked up to? Think I'm letting my brother's indiscretions or my position go to my head? Seems he must know me better than I know myself, because that's all news to me. Uh, I didn't... I wasn't trying to... Look, I don't want to hear it. Just get out of my sight already, will you? I'll keep my own counsel, thank you. I'm sure as hell not going to take advice from you. Uh, you go. I'm sorry. She loves you, and you're a jerk. Damn it. Epona told me the exact same thing, and I actually bothered listening to her. What the hell is wrong with me? You really are a mess. Kadena. I'm pretty sure they heard you all the way up in Solomon Shrine just now. Not exactly your proudest moment, Hugo. Are you going to lecture me too? Of course not. That wouldn't do me any good at all. You'd probably just flip out on me. That's what you tend to do whenever anybody gets a little too close for comfort. And considering your reaction, I'd say Musha hit the nail right on the head. Well, you just think about what you did while you're off gallivanting around the tower, okay? Once you've come to your senses, I'd suggest you apologize to the poor girl. I think you even... I think even you must realize you did that. Anyway, be careful out there. Don't let those end up being your last words to Musha. I should go. Climbing this tower is about the only good thing I can do right now, I think. And so, Hugo set off, in search of climbing the tower some more, and probably getting killed in the process. But now I have the key. I'm gonna save, because that was a super long cutscene. I want to see what's behind that door, too. Jump, 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 jump. Oh wait, let's do that. Oh, it's so nice to kill those things in like, a couple of hits. Yes, use the amber key. It's a Durgan. Aha, take that, Durgan. Luckily, with my floaty bubble ability. Ooh. Well, there's a door here. Let's see where this goes. Treasure. Everybody likes treasure. Let's see where this goes. Oh, 
Oh, you're high. Where are we now? Are we back where we were? Yes. Sure looks like it. I don't remember what first thing that does exactly. There's a door over here. Where do you go? Oh wait, there's a... Ow. Oh, hey. I see a bombly bomb. What are you gonna give me if I kills you? Can you give me some treasure. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. And this gives me a creeper medallion. So that's gonna be my boss, that is it. A creeper. I should probably stand here and heal for a second. Doop 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 Close enough. See a treasure chest. Okay, so I have to go somewhere in this direction. Which way did I go? I think I went through the door. This time let's go through here. Ooh, Elder Robe. That sounds awesome. Definitely raises my defense. So that's always good.
But yeah, it looks like I'm gonna definitely have to ascend the tower. Let's try this again with less sucking and less dying. Let's try going left. And this takes me... Ooh, to a chest. Ooh, Claria Ore. That means I can raise my wand. This is power. Alright, but that wasn't it. Ow. Get away from me, little turd. Live, fight, another day. Alright. Let's try going down. Whoa, such a sneaky, sneaky snake. Fudge. Okay. I can get what I'm supposed to do there. Ooh, but there's a treasure chest over here, so let's do that. There we are. Earth Dragon's Claws. Cool. Oh, attach the shoes to retain traction on slippery ground. Ha 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 ha. Neato, Kido. Stop hitting me. Don't like it. No. Bad. Frick. There we are. Holy crap. It's a good thing I got those shoes. Uh, do, do, do. I'm just gonna burst. Why not?
There are enough enemies there. Ow. He did a belly flop onto my mind. I have to say, those mines sure are useful. Okay, I was gonna say, there has to be a goddess statue around here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. So I'm gonna save. Ba -da -da -da. All right, but before I go to the creeper, I want to find out what the right path did. Because there were three paths. Obviously, one of them was correct, and the other or not so I just want to see what would have happened had I gone to the right path and now that I have those shoes that made that a little easier Aha! Treasure. I sort of suspected treasure. Emerald. Ooh. So that increases my shield. That's good. But rather than running, let's just warpy warp through the creeper's chambers. Strengthen, which I forgot to do, my armor, and let's see, I don't, I could increase item drop rate, which I suppose could be handy, especially considering how much I lose health and stuff. Yeah, we'll... Uh, yeah, we'll do that. That's a one-time thing. As much as I want to save it for MP usage... I suppose I could also spend it on these... Uh low-level effects. So yeah, reduce bad status. Sure, we'll do that. Uh, 1,500... or 15,000. Yeah, let's do that. Is there rank 3? There is not. Good. So that means I can... Oh yeah, item effects. Since I just got increased drop... And increase the effect of medicinal herbs, sure. And I'm kind of spending all my SP, but I haven't been upgrading, and it's been kind of hurting me, I think. But anyways, we will fight the Creeper next time. Hopefully I have enough power to kill him, otherwise it'll be a bit of grinding, but we'll find out next time. So, 
As always, remember to like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!